What is up guys, Rick Cacus here, back from my trip to Bungie and oh my goodness, a lot of stuff went down when I was gone. Firstly, we had the release on August 28th of Update 2.0, introducing so much stuff and especially the brand new weapon system. And I can finally say having sit down with my own characters, using my own loot that this is the way Destiny 2 was meant to be played. It is so awesome being able to use, you know, the Sleeper Simulant and the Escalation Shotgun or the perfect Paradox in that Kinetic Slot and a Rocket Launcher. The combos are there. The power is back. It feels amazing. But one of the more interesting things to happen with this update was something unintentional. And it's the fact that you can now go and earn forsaken loot that's right loot that should have waited until forsaken launched you can earn that right now this second and this loot is dropping as it properly would in forsaken in the fact that it has random perk rolls also it has the same amount of brand new perks that are coming with forsaken so, what loot is dropping and what can it tell us about the changes to the armor system and weapon system coming in Forsaken, and most importantly, how do you get it? Well, let's get started. But just before we do, guys, if you're looking for amazing gaming headphones, including the ones I personally use, the A40s, I've partnered with Astro, so click the link in the description down below, save some money, and help me out, definition of a win-win. So, how do you get this brand new Forsaken loot? Well, all you need to do is complete the Flashpoint, which is this week currently on Mars. And that's it. The Mars Flashpoint, upon completion and the awarding of that powerful loot, will just give you, pretty much always, it is a 100% drop rate, brand new Forsaken loot. Now, this loot can come in several forms. Firstly, you can get different armor pieces. Obviously, the armor piece is coded to whatever class and character you're playing. So if you're playing a Titan, you can go and get, you know, Titan armor pieces. Or you can also get weapons. However, there is a pretty big catch. And that catch is only some of you will be able to utilize this new loot. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, because it is actual Forsaken loot, it's dropping as if it was the brand new leveling system. So it's dropping above 400 light. And that means that it requires a higher level in order to equip. So if you're like me and you went out and got all your characters totally ready for Forsaken, you're sitting there, you know, 400 light, you kind of screwed yourself because the drops are powerful gear. They will give you always above 400 light. And that means that it will have a level requirement to use. You can't actually equip it. Now, if you've not done that and you're under leveled, let's say your 380 is your highest character, you can do this and actually get loot that you can equip and utilize right now, including the weapons. And in case you were wondering, there is really no great way to lower your power level so that you can use this loot. Because once you're 400, it senses that you're 400 no matter, you know, you can't change your armor, you can't even put your armor in the vault. It will still count that as what you can possibly be and then it will drop loot according to that possibility. That's how the new leveling system works within Destiny 2. Now, with all of that being said, what loot is actually dropping? Well, I did the Flashpoint three times on three different characters, and I got three pieces of armor. Normally, I'd be saying this is unfortunate because you do kind of want weapons, but the armor in Forsaken is actually insane. Let's go over some of the new armor perks coming with this new expansion. So, first off, we have a Titan Helmet, and we have some perks that you'll definitely recognize, increasing recovery, resilience, and potentially mobility. But after that, we have all new stuff. We have the choice between, firstly, Linear Fusion Rifle Targeting, improved target acquisition, accuracy, and aim down sight speed for Linear Fusion Rifles. This is going to be a great perk, especially for PvP, because of course, we're going to have more options and more random spawns than just linear fusion rifles. Replace that with, you know, snipers, pulse rifles, hand cannons, whatever gun you want to main, that's going to be very useful. However, the second perk is precision weapon targeting, improved target acquisition, 
accuracy, and aim down sight speeds for hand cannons, scout rifles, bows, linear fusions, snipers, and slug shotguns. So, uh, not exactly sure what's going on here. I mean, it's funny that I have on the same helmet the choice between linear fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles and a bunch of other stuff. I assume the effects for the singleton weapons, like the effects for just linear fusion rifles on the top one, are going to be much more powerful. You're going to aim down sights even faster, whereas with the second one, you're going to aim down sights, let's say, uh, with half the bonuses you would get from the top perk, but it applies to so many more gun types, it's more versatile when you're switching out your loadout. That's how I would balance it, of course, and I assume that's how it's balanced in this game as well. Moving on from there, the second choice of two is firstly, Rocket Launcher Reserves increases the amount of Rocket Launcher ammo you can carry. Very useful perk, especially for stuff literally like Rocket Launchers where you don't have a lot of reserve ammo and going up to like seven or eight would be very, very beneficial. And then we have Sword Reserves increases the amount of sword ammo you can carry. Now, moving on from there, we have some Warlock Gauntlets, and again, we have some perks that we already know. Then we have the choice between, firstly, Momentum Transfer, causing damage with a grenade reduces your melee cooldown, returning from D1. Great whenever you want to have a build focusing on ability usage. And then we have Shotgun Loader, increases reload speed of shotguns. Very simple perk, but honestly pretty beneficial. And of course, this is likely going to be able to spawn with increased reload speed of insert gun type here. Some of them, like hand cannons, that can be really, really good. They don't have massive magazines, and you really need to have that reload speed increasing, especially if you're planning on using a weapon that has kill clip, and you really want to maximize on that output. You really want to maximize on that reload speed. This is going to be a perk you're really looking for. Then we have a choice between Rocket Launcher Scavenger. Rocket Launchers get bonus reserves when you pick up ammo. A little confused on the wording of that perk, like what exactly does that mean when you go over ammo, will it specifically get more reserves for that ammo brick you pick up? Like will you instead of just getting a few rounds, get a few rounds plus one because of this perk? or is it just gonna extend how much raw reserves you can have? So, would love to test this in game, but regardless, this seems like a very useful perk, especially for PvE, when the ammo reserves you have, especially for heavy weapons, really, really does matter. Next up, we have Special Ammo Finder. Increases the drop chance of special ammo on kill. So, PvE, that's going to be extremely useful. You're killing a lot of stuff. The fact that you can get more special ammo with this perk, and special ammo, of course, having snipers and shotguns and fusions just gain more ammo. More for your escalation shotgun is always better. But this is also going to be fantastic in PvP. Like, special weapons really do matter in PvP, and the main limitation for those guns is ammo. You only spawn with, you know, two rounds for your shotgun. So you're going to need to be killing and then picking up more ammo all the time. This perk is going to let you do that. This is going to be, I guarantee, like something people are really going after for PvP. Now, moving on from there, for the Hunter, we have another pair of gauntlets, which is actually kind of sweet because you can really see the diversity in the roles of gauntlets in Forsaken. So, firstly, again, we have some perks that you've seen a million times. Then we have the choice between, firstly, Fastball, increasing grenade throw distance, always been pretty decent in PvP especially. And then we have Rocket Launcher Loader, increases reload speed of rocket launchers. Rocket launchers actually being an example of another gun type that benefits greatly from being able to reload faster. After that, we have Fusion Rifle Scavenger. Fusion rifles get bonus reserves when you pick up special ammo. Again, sounds like a useful perk, but then we have the choice of Heavy Ammo Finder. Increases the drop chance of heavy ammo on a kill. So, you know, is this going to be working in PvP? But that aside, this seems really beneficial for PvE, like really beneficial. You're going to be getting more ammo for your Whisper, for your Sleeper, whatever. And honestly, you know, what's going to be better? Heavy Ammo Finder or Special Ammo Finder for PvE? Because Special Ammo Finder, like, I feel like that's going to be more consistent. You're going to get ammo more often, but any sort of increase to 
heavy ammo has been very, very good in the past. I'm thinking like the Ruin Wings from Destiny 1. So armor is looking great in Forsaken. But moving on from there, as previously mentioned, we have weapons dropping as well. And thanks to a bunch of very helpful people on Twitter sending me images to at Rick Kakis of the weapons they got. We actually have a complete list of all the weapons dropping and several examples of the kind of stuff you can get for these weapons. So let's start here with the brand new Forsaken SMG, the Trackless Waste. It's a 900 rounds per minute SMG, which is pretty common. Magazine size of 34, pretty standard. Um, all of the stats are pretty standard as well. I will say possibly higher than normal stability depending on the perks, um, but lesser handling to account for that. Now, some of the random perk rolls, like we see someone with Zen Moment and Kill Clip, like pretty decent. Actually, someone masterworked their trackless waist and you can see they got a stability masterwork with that and that unlocks that new column, which is blank right now, but you'll be able to change it between displaying uh, Crucible kills or PvE kills. Moving on from there, we have a new scout rifle with the wrong side of right. It fits into the 150 rounds per minute damage archetype, which is exactly the same as the very common crucible scout rifle that does not compute. But of course, you know, having two main perks and random rolls, this thing is already so much better than the does not compute. Stats wise, does seem to have a little bit better stability, sacrificing, handling, and reload, especially when compared to that does not compute. But moving on from there, we also have an auto rifle dropping, the Ether Doctor. This one lies in the 600 rounds per minute damage archetype, another fairly common archetype, you know, similar to the Scathe Lock that pretty much everyone knows and has. And stats wise, it seems to be pretty different. We can actually see two different versions here with pretty different statistics based on the perk rolls. And you know, the first one actually with Rampage and Quick Draw, that seems very good. And then the last Forsaken weapon that is dropping is the Dust Rock Blues Shotgun. Now, interestingly, this falls into the 55 rounds per minute damage archetype, which is actually the precision shotgun archetype where all the Soros shotguns that shoot slugs lie. Now, although this really doesn't appear to be a traditional Soros shotgun, it does have the perk symbol, the intrinsic perk for being a precision shotgun. So likely it is still shooting a slug. Stats are pretty much what you would expect for this archetype, but actually someone got a roll and you can see how ridiculously extended that range is with the random perks. And they also have field prep for more ammunition in reserves and rampage. That's a pretty darn solid roll right there. And so guys, that is a look at pretty much all of the Forsaken gear that's dropping early that you can go and get right now. Happy hunting, Guardians. And guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.